Welcome to another edition of Flex Rental Solutions How-To Videos. Today we're going to be going over a inventory setting for inventory items which will allow you to hide specific inventory items in both the browser bar and the search results. So the reason why this feature came up is we had a, an inventory manager they were a video manager and they had lots and lots of parts and pieces and they were having issues with the account managers dragging in either old out-of-date uh, plasmas that they never wanted to send out anymore that were being added to quotes on a weekly basis or they were adding parts and pieces to the uh, from screen frames instead of dragging over maybe the virtual item. So what they asked for was the ability to hide an inventory item in both this browser area and search so that for certain people they wouldn't see all the parts and pieces and would allow other people to see them. So let's go and review all the building blocks to this functionality. Uh, so under system settings we can look under either security groups or users, but we'll start out with security groups. So we have a account name called sales reps and we can see who are the members of these groups. Well right now say Bill Davies is a member of the sales rep group. Perfect. And we can also look at his permissions. And so one of the settings here under inventory module is can browse and search for hidden items so you can either grant it so that they can't they are granted the permission to browse and search or they are denied the permission to browse and search so you can set that setting up for the group and everyone who belongs to that group will inherit that permission and you can also do it per user. So if we look at the user of Bill Davies and go to his permission, he belongs to a bunch of different groups and so it created the granted because he belongs to a group that in inherited. But we could still just say, you know what, even though he may belong to a uh, group that does allow it, we still want to deny that permission to him. So now we've overridden that exact permission for that specific user. So let's go in under video. And let's see if we've got under, we'll go under projectors. And we've got R12s. And maybe our R12s are an item that we basically don't want to use. They're, they're an older technology maybe and we want to do everything HD. So we want to hide this item. If we open up the inventory item, hit edit inventory item, the second to last under the top area is called hide no. And we can set that item to hide equals yes. So let's go back to my user. And I am granted the uh, ability to browse and search. So if I refresh this whole page, And we'll go to video, projectors, and event. I can see this item. And if I do a search, it shows me the result, the results for a Barco R12. Now let's go back to our user, and I want to get Bill Davies login. 
that's his username. And one of the new features that we have as uh, Flex administrators is we have the ability to log in Okay, so we're in as Bill Davies, and if we go under Inventory, Video, Projectors, you'll see that that item is hidden from him. And if we go under Search and Inventory, Barco R12, there is no results shown for him. So, again, this basically allows us to clean up this area for certain users or groups of people, whether this is helpful for inventory managers to hide it from account managers or from specific uh, shop techs. That's all up to you, but it's the ability to limit what they see over here and in the search results. With that, if you have any questions, please contact support at flexrentalsolutions.com. Thank you very much.